Your normal map is not broken, you just don't know how it works. So normal maps work this way. Normal maps help us contain the information of shadows of our material. If I were to take a look into this normal map of this material I'm working on, you're gonna see that I have a really nice highlight here and a shadow below, yes? And this is basically a calculation the software is doing based on an equation this node has. Now you can see here there's two formats. What are these formats? So if I split this image, yes, with our RGBA split, you're gonna see that each of these channels have a red, green, and blue have different kinds of information. Now, if we go to the red channel, you're gonna see that our material has a light coming from the right, highlighting these edges, adding a shadow to the opposite side. Yeah, you can see here, you have this white edge of the light coming from the right, and this one is a dark one. If we go to the green channel, you're gonna see that this happens as well here. You have a light coming from below, and making a shadow here. So why does this matter? This matters because the green channel is the one that decides the format of our normal map. So let's say right now I'm in DirectX. If I change this to OpenGL, this will change. Our green channel will change. And now the light is coming from the top while the shadow is maintaining in the other direction. If I go to my red value and I start switching from DirectX to OpenGL, you're gonna see no difference because the difference and the importance is in the green. Now I told you your normal map is not broken and that's because maybe your green channel is not in the right direction. Maybe you are working in Marmoset doing a render and you're using a DirectX format for your normal map when actually Marmoset Toolback uses an OpenGL. If you have more questions about normal maps, let me know in the comments.